I don't know if you guys can hear that but it's like bird season and I love bird season in the south. So today I'm going to sit down and I'm actually going to make a very small hummingbird garden and I thought I would show you which plants I'm going to put in it and show you the little space that I'm putting it in. I thought it'd be a fun way to maybe encourage you guys to just think about little birds that you enjoy having in your yard. Find the plants that they might enjoy and put them together and see if you can even attract them to your garden. But let's get started. So this is my little sitting space. I like this space, it's right near the house. I do a lot of my planting of my seeds just right there. So I, I really enjoy this space. And I recently got this really beautiful hummingbird feeder. And I've always had hummingbird feeders, but this one's particularly pretty. I just got this one from Backyard Expressions. And I thought, you know what? I also want to add some flowers to help encourage the hummingbirds to get there. So what I've done is I've started with these two containers. And I kind of hemmed and hawed about this. I actually sat on this for a long time because I thought, do I want to put these guys in the ground or do I want to do containers? So I've gone with containers as opposed to putting them in the ground and in a, like a box, like say over there. I've gone with containers because I really wanted this in this space and I didn't want a permanent structure in this space. So these are cattle containers and this is where I sit. And I love to just sit here and watch the hummingbird go up to the hummingbird feeder. And I thought, well, it'd be even nicer if I can get flowers in here that they stop at and visit the flowers and then go up to the hummingbird feeder. So that was my goal. And I didn't want a permanent uh, container here. I wanted to go with something that I could potentially, like the smaller container, I can move into the greenhouse in the winter. The larger container, probably not, but I can take the plants out and transplant them into a container that goes into storage in the greenhouse. But here are the plants that I'm working with. We recently had a quick trip to Buds and Blooms and we picked up this guy, which is a saucy red salvia. Um, then we went over to In Blooms Gardens and Gifts in Crystal Springs and I got a black and blue salvia. This is a chocolate chip um, bug bugleweed lagulia, uh, gara bantam iris pink, and some columbine. I have this plant already. This also came from the lady that owns the um, In Bloom's Garden and Gifts and it's been in a pot. It needs to be transplanted. It looks like a mess and needs to be cleaned up. So we're going to give it new life in this planter and I'm also going to dig up a lipstick salvia that I've got growing in another spot in the yard. We actually have some bad weather coming in so we're running out of time here but let's see if we can get this done just in time. It's a lipstick salvia and it has a really cute little flower, little pink and white flower and the hummingbirds love it. They make the trip around the buildings to come to this plant throughout the day. So I think we're going to take a little piece of this and it just kind of pops up new little babies. So we're going to pop out a little baby plant and add it to our mix as well. So we already have one around the side of the house. These guys need a good pruning but they are super, super pollinator friendly. So this is how I think we're gonna mix it up here. We're gonna put the pink ones in this container, our first one, and we're gonna put our reds and our blues in the back container. Being supervised while I work. He's very bossy. We've got them all planted. I actually had seeded some sea lavender and some cat mint, so I've added them to the mix as well. We're gonna give them a really, oh my goodness. Did you say that? I don't know if I caught it on camera, but that was a hummingbird. Like literally two seconds, like I couldn't have planned this any better. There was a hummingbird right there. To what I was Super saying, cool. I have seeded some sea lavender and some catmint to add into the mix. I'm not overly fussed about color matching in my garden setup. I just want a lot of color, a lot of flowers, a lot of native flowers if possible. So for me, it really isn't necessarily about design. Like if you're here because you want to see the prettiest garden, uh, I'd argue that it can be very pretty, but it may not be the most um, meticulous or matchy-matchy. I don't know how to describe it, but where people will put exactly the right amount of blues in a row and they will be lined up perfectly with two inches apart or whatever. You won't find that here. Everything is messy and colorful and a little crazy and I love that. So this is not necessarily something that matches beautifully, um, but hopefully it's, and actually I now have some proof, although I 
didn't capture it. Um, but I do have some uh, idea that this is going to work. So I'm excited. We're going to give these part. guys a drink, uh, give them a little bit of organic fertilizer, and then sit back and see if we can't maybe actually prove to you that we can get a hummingbird attracted to our little patio area. So the fertilizer I'm going to use is the organic fruit and flower fertilizer from AgroThrive. I've been generally really happy with their product. I also like the um, long lasting or slow release um, organic fertilizers that are just, you kind of drop them on top of the soils from Walmart. Those work really well too, but AgroThrive is probably my one of my top two fertilizers. All right, guys, the oven is on in the south. It is 91 degrees here and it is hot, but I still wanted to take you through this hummingbird garden and show you how it kind of filled in. Just a bit of a warning, I may have got a little carried away with some of the additions to it as well. I've had a lot of fun with this. All right, so here it is. Here it is all filled in. I really love how this has filled in. It has just been an absolute flutter of activity from birds to butterflies and to hummingbirds. The hummingbirds have visited mostly the red flowers, um, but they did, I added a penstem on. So this one I didn't tell you guys about, but this is a native flower. I don't believe it's a cultivar, but it is an actual native. It is Penstemon barbatus, and it's great. The hummingbird liked it. The flowers are done for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get more, but I'm excited about that one. The columbine is showing off, which is great. The gara is amazing. The bees love the gara. This one here is the gara. And I've got a gara in a lot of spaces. The gara is probably one of my top favorite native wildflowers to grow in the garden, I would say. But it's the red ones in the back that they seem to be enjoying the most. Well, I'm not the only one enjoying it. Somebody else is having fun in the hummingbird garden. Now in my carried awayness, I added a Ragin' Cajun and I blame my friend for this one. She has a nursery in Crystal Springs and she gave me this guy. And it's not a native, it's native to, uh, I think Chile to Brazil, but it is a pollinator favorite. Well, hummingbird favorite. I don't know about bees. I haven't seen any on there yet. One of the bonuses of this garden has been the bees. They've also enjoyed, look at this guy, he's right in there. They've really enjoyed the hummingbird garden. So how I got a little bit carried away is I started to accessorize my hummingbird garden. But we started with, I added a little tiny bird feeder in here. And I'll have links to these guys down below if you're interested in any of these items. This guy came from Walmart. It just helps bring the hummingbirds into the flower area. This, um, this is another Walmart one. This has the flaming candle look to it is really quite pretty. We added a hummingbird perch so there's a place to sit although they actually sit on the moringa tree and for those of you that have seen my moringa video here's the tree in case you're wondering. And then of course there's the main hummingbird feeder which is pretty much where they go to most but often they just stop in visit a flower and then head up to the hummingbird feeder. So what I typically do is I'll sit over here, have my morning coffee, and sit here and watch my hummingbird. It is really, honestly, my happy space. I've really enjoyed this little space and how it's developed over time. Really, really enjoyed it. So it will probably continue to evolve as I go along. Won't look the same in a couple of years, but I'm gonna enjoy it right now. I'm really having fun with it. Every time I go into a garden center, do you have any hummingbird plants? And we're looking for different hummingbird plants. Well, that's it, you guys. If you have any suggestions for great hummingbird plants that I should be adding to that mix, put them down below. My husband will not be happy you're sending me to another greenhouse, but hey, it's all for the birds. Awesome, you guys. Be friendly. Be kind.